Good morning everyone. How are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm in good condition too. Um, students, currently COVID-19 is increasing. Therefore, I suggest you to stay at home unless there is emergency thing that makes you go out. Uh, in addition, please stay consuming nutritious food and doing exercise regularly. Also, reduce staying up late and don't be stressed. May we all be healthy always. Amen. Okay, students, before we start our lesson today, please reciting Basmala together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you, student. Um, is there anyone who absent today? You may feel the attendance in Google Classroom and I also have uploaded our materials today. You can read it after this. Uh, students, uh, regarding our previous material, I want us one or two volunteers to retell what we have learned yesterday. Anyone who want to answer my question? Yes, Icha. Yeah, thank you, Icha. How about the others? Yes, Finn. Just explain it briefly. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job, students. Thank you for your answer. Yesterday we have learned about song, and you all already do several activities related a song from Michael Jackson, right? You can enhance your listening ability by listening a song or music regularly. Uh, it is a tips from me and you can also know how to pronounce the word and uh, thus listening a music or song is very useful for us. Well students, um, have you ever know about the story of Cinderella and Malin Kundang or The Legend of Candi Borobudur Can you guys it? What is that? Yes! Good! It is a narrative text uh, Maybe uh, you can explain briefly what story that you know Yes, please! So, uh, this is the material that we will learn today, which is about narrative text. After this, I will explain about the definition, the generic structure, and also the language features used in narrative text, so you can get the information clearly. Yeah, 
This is the example of verbal. And how about science fiction? Science fiction is a story which includes science. So there is a science in the story. For instance, a story entitled To the Moon from the Earth by Charles Fem. The third is Fairy Tales. I think this is the most popular to you because the story often tell to the children. Can you guys the example of fairy tales? Yeah, good. It like Cinderella, Snow White, and others. And how about myth? Yes, myth is a traditional or legendary story with usually concerning some ye or hero to the event. So it's like explain about the hero of the place in the story. For instance, there is three and others. And the last is legend. This is our focus today. So legend is a narrative of human action that are perceived by the teller to take place within human history. So you can define legend is a story of the place. And sometimes legend could be a true story or just something with uncertainty. And also a legend include miracles and myth. The example of legend is the legend of Tobale of Borobudur so usually the title of the story will begin with the legend can you get what I mean students okay don't be hesitant student because we still learn about it and after this you can analyze it by yourself so you can understand easily okay Next is about the generic structures of narrative text. Actually, there are four generic structures of narrative text including orientation, complication, resolution, and coda. But the last item or coda, or usually it called as the orientation, is just optional. So sometimes the writer include the coda or the orientation in the end of the story but sometimes not so what is orientation orientation is about the opening of paragraph where the character of the story are introduced in orientation will contains of information related to the place or the time of the story happened and also it introduces the participants of the story who and what is involved in the story the next is complication so complication is the place where the problems in the story develop so there will be a problem started and it called as complication while resolution is where the problem in the story is solved or ended so after the problem started the writer will resolve the story and it called us resolution and the last coda or the orientation that just optional so it is a closing remark to the story and it consists of a moralization advice or teaching from the writer did you get what I mean students? Okay. Next is about language feathers in narrative text. Students, you can use several items of these to write narrative text. So, what are they? First, narrative text is used to past tense. And then, adverb of time, time conjunction, specific character, action verb and direct speech so the formula of past tense you can remember that a past tense used for to okay for example killed drunk both wet and extra and 
how about the adverb of time is like the phrase that come in the first line so it's like once upon a time there was a or one day so it called us adverb of time and this is the most characteristic of narrative text and time conjunction is like when then suddenly and extra how about the specific character so the specific character is the writer talks about the subject directly so usually in the story the writer doesn't explain who performed the story but in narrative text the actor of the story will explain it directly in the beginning of the story it's like the cinderella and once upon a time there is a prince named cinderella so cinderella it is a specific character performed in the story and action verb is a verb that shows an action like killed walk and extra and the last is direct speech so it is to make the story lively for example in the story there will be a sentence like this he said my name is boyo but sometimes in narrative text also there is indirect speech like he said that so both of direct speech and indirect speech will be included in narrative text any questions so far if no Let's go to the next activity. I have prepared a text about the legend of Banuwangi. I will share the text and anyone who want to read the text, mention your name because it's part of your participation in the class. I will give a point for who active today. Yes, Cheon, you can read it. Just one paragraph. So you can share it with your friend. Thank you. Uh, how about the others? Yes, you can read it. Okay, good. Thank you. And then, yes, go far. And the last one to get the point from me. Uh, yes, you. Okay, CG. Oh, thank you, students. So I will explain the generic structure and also the language patterns of narrative text in the text. So you can get the information clearly based on the text. So students, to check your understanding. Let's do a quiz and you may visit kahoot.com and one minute I will share the code or the link so you can follow the quiz. But if your connection doesn't support well, you can ask your friend after this class so you can leave any information of today's meeting. You can follow the quiz now.
about the quiz? Is it difficult for you? Hmm, I think no, because we already discussed it in the beginning of the meeting and I believe that all of you already understand the information that I already explained it before. But students, uh, let's discuss the quiz before we go to the next activity. Okay? Just discuss it briefly. The first question What is narrative text? Anyone who can answer it? Yes! Narrative text is a text with complication or problematic events. Good! Number two. What is the purpose of narrative text? Yes, good! Is to entertain the readers or the people. The third. What is the generic structures of narrative text? Orientation, complication, and resolution, and also the coda. But the coda is only option. Number four. The following text is incorrect. Reason why the king told Raden Sidopaksa that his wife was unfaithful to him, except because the king tried to get Sri Tanjung but he felt and he was angry. And the last, why the name of the place called as Banyuwangi? That's good, there are two correct answers. The first is because Sri Tanjung was innocent so the river become clean and pregnant. And the second, because it comes from the proof of noble and scared love of Sri Tanjung. I still have two or three questions for you. Just guess it, we can answer it together. And can you guess where is the orientation? That's good. It is the first paragraph. It called us orientation. How about the complication? It's good. The second paragraph called us complication. Because it contains of the problem of the story. And where is the resolution? So, the resolution is located at the end of the second paragraph. Again with the Prime Minister was very angry. So, how about the coda or reorientation of the story? Okay, I will explain it. Uh, from the story of the legend of the Banyuwangi, it can teach us about the belief. So, we shouldn't believe too much in a people, what people say about something until there is evidence. So, we have to make sure that what he says is true and now it's your time to do group activity and i will decide the group first chayang and bin second sijin and munyun third chipyo and suzy and the others i will share in the stream of google classroom Students, what you need to do in this activity is please analyze the generic structures of narrative text, including orientation, complication, resolution, or coda. If there is coda, if no, you can mention or explain it briefly. And then you need to analyze the language feathers of narrative text minimum three things for instance you can analyze the simple parts adverb of time or direct speech i will share the text in the stream of google classroom so there will be 10 texts and you can answer it in the comment based on your group number after that i will ask one or two group to present the result. Is there any question so far? And the time of this activity is around 5 minutes. 
So, use your time efficiently. Good luck, student!
explain what you got after learned the materials today. One of you, please. Yes, thank you. We have learned about narrative text, which is a type of text that tells about an event connected with an events that connected each other, which purpose to entertain the reader. And also, there are four generic structures of narrative text: orientation, complication, resolution, and coda. And coda is just option. So students, thank you for your participation today. Most of you are active and I appreciate it. Besides, I also have an assignment for you again. You can check it in Google Classroom after the class. And it's not different with our previous activity. So you can check it later. Thank you very much and let's close our meeting today by reciting Alhamdulillah together. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much and Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye and stay healthy students.